Hi there, thank you for reaching out. We're really excited to connect, so I wanted to create this quick demo video for you, just to run you through the process of creating your very own assessment in Dredis and exporting those results into a custom report template. So what we have here is our demo environment. It's on the same version as what our teams are using today, and it basically looks exactly um, like any of our pro instances were today. The first thing that I'm gonna do here is create a new project. Now in any of our pro instances, you can have as many different projects as you like. And so typically teams would be creating a new project for every new assessment that they're going to be doing. There's a few things we can do here, like handpick the testers who's going to be working with us because not everyone has default access to everything or scheduling this to include a start and end date. Estimated, of course, because we know projects can run a little long and this can be updated again. So once I've done that, you can see this on a scheduler overview. That's just going to give us a nice snapshot of what's coming up for the next few weeks and months. My new project is going to be completely blank. Um, I'll go through this and populate it a little bit as we chat now. Um, but just for comparison, we also have this demo um, project that has been pre-populated with some of the you know, just information, chatter, back and forth, just to give us an idea of what it really looks like once a team is up and running and using a project in Dredis. The first part of this that I would like to highlight is the use of issues or findings. There are three ways that we can pull findings in here. When we're doing some manual testing, of course, yes, we can write up a brand new issue from scratch. You'll see that I have a template here that's just guiding me through including all the information that I'm looking for in my projects. This is entirely customizable. I can also save myself the time from having to write it up this way by making use of a shared issue library that myself and my team can put together. Now this does come pre-populated with quite a few of the most commonly used findings, um, but we can also help you bulk upload your own um, database in here, or you can add new entries as you go, either directly in the library, or maybe I think this issue is something myself or my colleagues can use again, and I can send that to the issue library. Either way, I can then import findings from that library by searching some keywords directly from the project. When I add a finding from the library in that way, it's really just creating a copy of that master version in our shared database. And so when I go in here, I can edit this, maybe delete stuff that aren't relevant, add some project specific information, and nothing that I do here is going to affect the master version that my team is using. Again here, I can add a tag. The third way of adding findings in here is probably by far, by far the fastest, and that is to make use of the list of integrations that we have or our CSV blanket uploader if it's something that's either maybe open source or that you've created in-house. The process is going to be very similar either way in that I can select my plugin that I want to use here and just bulk upload that file in here. Dredis is going to do a lot of work behind the scenes when I do this. First of all, it's going to hand pick out the fields that I'm looking for, maybe rename them or reorganize them so that what I'm ending up with in my project is only specific to what I was looking for. It's also going to take care a lot of a lot of those repeat tasks, like for instance, deduplicating findings, merging them together, switching out the write-ups with my very own custom ones from the issue library, or changing the criticality based on my own custom ranges. What I end up with is a nice cleaned up set of data that I can work with from there. This includes only the fields that I was looking for and all the information accordingly. Depending on my workflow, I can also put these findings through a Q&A or a peer review. We have different states that we can assign them to one by one or in bulk. And I can, for instance, then send these to a reviewer. When my colleague signs on to check that out, um, it's really easy for them to just go to the Q&A dashboard and only see the findings that are ready for them. Depending on our workflow, they can use comments to loop me in on this, set this back to a draft, or say that some of them are ready to be published. The next thing that I want to show you is the use of methodologies, and it's nice to see it in this project because we do have a bit of a history going on here with that. Now, out of the box, we have quite a few of the most commonly used methodologies, but as with the issue library, we can help you bulk upload your own in here as well. So it doesn't have to be an industry standard. It could just be an internally developed checklist as well, for instance. 
Either way, we can create a custom Kanban with these tasks traveling across, depending on what your workflow looks like. These individual tasks can have their own custom fields too. So we can, for instance, include information here, like the steps to take to replicate or links to external resources, or maybe a little write-up that we'd like to have in our final reports every time we complete a certain task. Depending on our workflow, I can assign this to myself just so my colleagues know that I'm busy with something, or I can assign this to someone else along with a due date of when we need to deliver this. Whenever I loop a colleague in that way, they're going to get an instance wipe notification, bringing them to this specific task in this specific project. And so Matt will come in here and see that that specific task is ready for review. As mentioned, we can pull information from this Kanban view into our final report. And so in the example that I'm gonna export for you, I'm just gonna pull the information from this done column out. When I'm happy with this project, there's a few ways that I can share this with a team then. The first way is that we can share it in our user portal called Gateway um, by giving the team additional access in here. Now, the access that we would be giving here is included with our subscription and we can include this for as many people as we like. They'd be able to see the view only access over here, individual findings, maybe specific ones assigned to them, um, breakdown of nodes, for instance, and I can even share my deliverables on here. On the subject of deliverables, we can now go ahead and also export this information into that custom report template. Now, just to give you a little bit of context on how we get to the point of being able to do that, every single one of our Dredis Pro subscriptions comes with a 30-day implementation plan included. The first step of this, of course, is to help you deploy Dredis in your own secure environment. But from there, we're also going to help you customize that instance. So for instance, help you bulk upload issue libraries or convert your methodologies. Most importantly, help you create your own custom Dredis report template. We'll then run you through that with an onboarding and training call um, and make sure that you're able to generate your own custom reports from there. This custom template, um, just to give you an example, could look something like this. Now, this is a template that we've created in Word called con with a feature of Word called Content Control, which allows us to set some um, custom fields here that we want Redis to populate with project-specific information. These can be really straightforward fields like the name of the client we want to address or bullet points or maybe freeform blocks of text. It can also be smart fields like counting the findings within certain categories and using that information to create nice visuals like charts and graphs for us. Of course, it can also include the individual findings. We will see that the sections that I have included here are what I've been capturing throughout and of course are customizable. We can also use certain fields in these findings to, for instance, create categories for ourselves. And lastly, we can include those methodology tasks or information from that methodology Kanban in here as well. And so once I'm happy with a project that I've created here, I can simply go ahead and export it into a custom template. Now, out of the box, we have Word, Excel, and CSV templates available. For the purposes of this, I have the template that I was just showing you uploaded in here. We also have a Q&A dashboard. Now, with that dashboard, it's going to allow my colleagues to come in here and just see a quick snapshot of what has been assigned to them. And so from there, they can then decide if we're going to um, export everything or just the stuff that's gone through to a published state. In this example, let's go ahead and export everything. Dredis is going to do a, first, a few things. Firstly, it's going to help me validate my project. So if I, for instance, really wanted to include an executive summary in my report and I completely forgot to write it, it's going to give me a heads up over here. From there, it's going to open my specific template and this specific project and populate that information across. What I'm ending up with is really standardized because of course, any of the testers in my team using this template are going to end up with a project that looks like this or a report that looks like this. But it's also really custom because not only is this a template that would, would have been created just for your team, but it's also only gonna include the specific information for this project. And so you can see here that it's been populated throughout those smart fields, for instance, our tables, charts, graphs all the way through to our individual findings, where you can, for instance, see that we have screenshots included as evidence, bullet points, numbering, code blocks, links, tables, all the way through to, for instance, those methodology tasks completed, 
where I've chosen to have the task name details and a space for tester comments. All of this is customizable with the creation of your own custom report templates, but that's going to be the gist of the process. Everything I've showed you today is on our Assess license, um, and you can basically order directly through the website. I'd love to hear your feedback and thoughts, though. So if you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to talk to you. Chat soon. Bye.